podcast screw him what what do you think this is going to accomplish well for starters we're gonna turn off that badge ah or better yet i'll turn you into its new power source no you can't do this to me not so fun when the shoe's on the other foot, now is it? Phew. Giselle, are you alright? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Giselle's not okay. She's mad with power. She's gonna be immortal. Ugh, no thanks. Let's just find somewhere safe to put the badge until we can turn this whack job into the police. Giselle, boss is, he's starting to tear up. I'm okay, boss. I really am. You handled yourself well. I couldn't ask for a better daughter. Dude. How do you beat it? That's it. Oh my god, dude. Oh, this game is so good. Oh my god. This does, this does in fact rival apathy. This might be better than apathy. The Would fact that this game was made in 40 game. days scares me. Oh, truly, truly long game. <laughs> it's always a long game when I play it. Would, would you say this is making you feel a little apathetic towards the other ones? Uh, dude. It's weird because I think Apathy's twists are better. That's the thing. Um, Apathy's storyline is still unmatched. It is still just unmatched. And there's no question about that. Uh, but thank you. It's a high compliment. But the characters in this game... Wait, what? I come back and it's done? Sorry, Lux. You missed it. But hey, you weren't spoiled on the you weren't spoiled on the final story, right? Damn. Yeah. Um yeah, I would say the these characters I have never now I got to play it to see the ending. <laughs> but hey, I'm glad you enjoyed the game. Dude, it's so good. The characters in this game have been the most Oh no. We're not done yet. I forgot. Ecat games are never credit. done when they say they're done, but post credit scene. Let me say, let me say that the the characters in this game have been the most relatable characters I have ever played in a Pokemon game. If that makes sense, like I felt, I really felt like I was in Giselle's shoes the whole time I played this game. Wait, you mean you can't relate to uh, Lusamine wanting to venture into another dimension and collect aliens? Like, here. I relate more to bottom Spider-Man from what moat, personally? <laughs> Shut up, Fox <Oxal. laughs> I'm sorry, what? Don't bottom worry about it. I think, isn't Pokemon Wet Moat the, the perennial, like, April Fool's joke from the fan game community? Or is that Pokemon Meat? Or, <laughs> I forget. But, let me let me put it in, in more comparable terms on, like, a fan game level. Um, Apathy's oh, okay. main character, oh, right? Was by Team Meat, so... Rearrange the letters of Wet Moat. <laughs> Met Woat? No. It's probably Watt Meat. Or Meat Watt. Tom it. Oh my god. Well, now I want to play meat this game. Wa meat too. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew it! I knew it! I'm so smart! <laughs> Keck W. Wait, does Keck W not work? Damn. Um, but yeah, basically, like, with Apathy's main character, obviously, Apathy's main character is not relatable. 
Not in the slightest. I mean, I'll take a step back. Apathy's main character was relatable during quarantine, but normally would not be relatable. I relate. That that sequence, that argument with between Giselle and Cypress hit me. Dude, that dialogue hit me. That hit me hard. That was oh bruh. That that was super relatable for me at least. So that that definitely has to be the highlight of the game. Good job on the release. Very excited. I can't believe apathy predicted quarantine. Okay, well literally well, I forget I forget the name of the main character, right? I, I think I'm gonna pop out here. Alright, mm -hmm. see ya. Yeah. Cause I think because like Apathy's main character literally just doesn't want to do anything. They're literally lazy. Did you want to well, ever do anything in quarantine? I, I sure didn't. It's in the name. Yeah. So literally. Okay. Maybe I can maybe I can do a more fully fleshed review. Or not I'm not like scripted review. I, I'll talk about it more when we're done with this post game stuff. Unfortunately for you, I just received the funding to seal all the exits to the mine permanently. Nightshade predicts the ghost uprising coming in a couple months. Fox, don't give him the plot twist. Come on. Seal off the exits to the mine permanently. Oh yikes. Enjoy eternity being locked up here. Oh, here we are. Is this it? This can't be it. This surely can't be it. This surely can't be it. So, boss. I am serious. Don't call me. Aren't bad. Don't call me Shirley. Imagine if Ecat's just some all-powerful being who uses fan game to communicate major global events. Then what's Ash and Frost? Oh, never mind. Don't answer that. I already know the answer <laughs> to that one. I already know the answer to that one. <laughs> I don't. There really seems to be a divide in Riverview City between the Mafia and the police, doesn't there? That's all I'm gonna say. What if I told you Ashen Frost has predicted the real happenings in Canadian Mafia? I literally would believe you. Okay. So, boss, how would turning over that whack job to the police go? The police? Yes. I turned him over to the police. Come on. No more secrets. Don't worry about it, Giselle. Boss! Well, I may have sealed him in the mines. Next, e cat game Pokemon Doomsday. Let's hope he doesn't break out one day and come back as a vengeful spirit. I have a feeling he won't. Oh, well, I would hope so too. Can we finally stand on this deck for longer than a few seconds? Nope. Alright. Clearly a cult trying to summon a gun to burn the world alive and to create infinite summer is something that would never happen. I mean, never know. Alright. Is this really it? Ecat, is there anything else that we can do? Other than go to the mines and mine more. Because <laughs> I'm not doing that. Can we talk to Sal? You can walk. I can walk. You can stand longer if you uh, go to the Pokemon Tower and complete Hearse's minigame. What? And then he comes to stand on the roof? Ooh. You're an incredible ranger, Giselle. One of the finest Cypress Park has ever seen. I would finish it up Hearse's little arc. Oh wait, did we have something that we were supposed to do with Hearst and we didn't do it? So let's go to the Pokemon Tower. Okay, where is the Pokemon Tower? It's right up there. Where is the Pokemon Tower? Is it the Memorial Lily? Okay, I'm just an idiot. Actually, that makes sense because that's where you saw him the first time. I'm just... <gasps> Yo. Hey, Giselle. Yeah? How are you doing? You're not running into any crazy side effects of whatever Professor Whackjob did, are you? 
Nope. Darn, I was hoping you could phase through the gate without me having to open the door. <laughs> Yo, Marty took an interior design course. I mean, the couches need work. Yeah, literally. Yeah, Marty. There's a... Oh, I thought there was going to be some cutscene. All right. Oh, wait. You, we can just... you, get to, you get to the second uh, wave of credits and there's more posts game no there room. won't be i know how ecat yeah, games are just, i just imagine that room uh just looking progressively more like the the chrome future in that one spongebob episode yeah all right hearse what's Everything going on in the future what do we have to do with hearse that's 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 my main comment with this game of why Apathy's the storyline and Nightshade is the characters. At least in my opinion. So, let's Oh wow. I'm literally done with water already. Um, sup buddy has this taken over apathy in your tier list I would say it's at the, it's probably in the same tier um like the thing with me is like it's weird because this is recency bias obviously but like again if we're looking at pure storyline pure plot line I don't think anything can beat apathy but if we're looking at the whole thing, these characters have really, really resonated with me a lot. Really made me feel, feel the story. Whereas in Apathy, the storyline made me feel the story. I guess. I don't know. It's hard to put things into words. Which, uh, which, uh, which did you have a better team for? It, or which did you like your team for more? I don't even remember. Actually, well, definitely this game, but it, it Pokemon like the Pokemon I get really isn't that. And then there's Ash and Frost, which is a whole as a JRPG. Yeah, I only recently learned about recency bias, and I think it's really cool, bro. <laughs> Yo, can we please, please give me the? Is it the Gamma theme? Yes, give me the Lo-Fi hip hop beats. Oh, I just got that joke, Lux. After these team was preset, that's true. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Lux, that joke is great. <laughs> I love that. I only recently learned about recency bias, and I think it's really cool. <laughs> right, that's okay. Oh, I get it. Yeah, there it is. Okay. All right. Ready for our first jam? Wait, you call notes? What is this? Left, right, left, right, right, left. Okay. Okay. Right, left. Wait, can I backspace? Bruh. I literally did the opposite of one. Right, left, right, right, left, left. No, is it left, right? Ah, uh, right, left, left, left. Why do I keep doing this? Why do I keep doing this? Right, left, right, right, left, right. Oh, it is. Bruh. <laughs> I gotta learn my... <laughs> nice. That would have called. That would have called a flechinder. I guess there are none in the area. Oh, what's the next one? Left, down, up, right, left. Left, down, up, right, left. Okay. Left, down, up, right, left. Nice. That would have called a swallow. I guess there are none in the area. Final jam. Uh oh. Up, up, left, right, to off. 
fuck. Let's look at that one again. Summon Zapdos? Uh-oh. Up, up, left, right, down, up. Up, 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 left, right, down, up. Up, up, left, right, down, up. There it is. Nice. That would have caused a course of fire. I guess there are none. Not again. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Triple battle. Imagine, like, in, like, ten years, we just get the final jam. Course of fire. Did I just absolutely butcher the name? Or, oh, Corvus. Corvus Kyer? Corvus Sire? Here we go. Corvus Sire. Or Cor Corvus Squire. Uh, yeah, Corvus What's Squire. a Zapdos? I only know Firo. Uh oh. What jam game is that one from? Corvus Squire? Oh. Ha! 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 I'm an idiot. Alright, um, let's rock tomb the swallow. I, I, I just want I just want to point out um the layout of these sprites right now. The yeah. one bird that isn't flying in their sprite is higher than the two that are. I That's... know he won't get the Fear Joke yet, but I'm going to keep making it. Uh what am I missing out on? Can you just tell me what game it's from so I know which one to play? I'm a champion hero. There's nothing hero. Is Cor Corvus Squire Steel yet? We're uh, about to find uh, out. Is it Steel yet? Yeah. Okay, they told you those from Ash and Fox? Where? I haven't played Sword and Shield, so I don't know what any of these types of games. Nah, it's just pure flying. They told me? When did they tell me, bruh? I mean, they told you a couple uh, chat messages. Case though. 12. Uh, I sent it right under Corvus Squire. Oh. Sheesh. Sheesh. No one appreciates my music. <laughs> oh, anyways, that's not true. You have all those punks who follow you around. Meh, I suppose. But do you see any standing around me right now? Huh? I guess they aren't. Didn't they come back to the park to see you? Yeah, but my cancelled party sort of put a damper on things. Imagine getting a touchdown or something, the whole audience just goes, Sheesh! Yo, that uh, would yes, be a crazy thing if, like, the student ball. section at, like, a college football game just, were, like, Sheesh! After a touchdown, or, like, a veiled, made field goal or some, sh some shit. That'd yeah, be that's, that's what they did at the Twins game. Every time the Twins got a touchdown, they would say, Touchdown? Sheesh. You mean run? Yeah, every, every time famous Twins player Tiger Woods would get a touchdown. <laughs> God damn it. Better a damper than a horde of attacking Pokemon. Ah, yes, sports ball. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. It's... Purse wandered off looking morose. Uh-oh, park point added. Oh, what else do I have on my to-do list? Oh, is that it? Is that truly it? Have we completed the Hearst arc? Hearst? Hearst. Uh, okay, Kate ignored Mining Maniac 2. Bruh. One of these times we're just gonna have a mining episode. Didn't you already have Please that? Please do not do Mining Maniac 2. I did a mining episode. But yeah, we haven't right. done the second mining one. There's two mining ones. Go back to your house now? Okay, that's what I was doing. Was I was doing. Oh, I see him. There he is. Let's talk to Boss in case he says something crazy. Nope, okay. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> what are you doing on my roof? This is your house? Yes. That sleepy guy in the gatehouse was like, you look morose, you need to, you, uh, like you need to brood go stand on the balcony of my house Marty so here I am well I have to give him credit this is a good place to stand and think yeah it's a nice view get the thumbnail ready get the thumbnail ready 
Wait, wait do, do the Num Nexus and Supra pose for the thumbnail! Nah. I don't put myself in thumbnails. Would Marty really know what morose means? No, because I have no idea what morose means. But that's so how you get the views, dude. You gotta put your face in the Ugh. Sad, literally. Sad, probably. So, you brood long enough? I think I'm good now. Anyway, I think I'm good. I think I'm a head out. <laughs> I've got new concerts to prepare for and old mixtapes to burn. <laughs> oh, we got a Delmise. Or Delmise, Delmise? I, I have no idea. What, what's, what pie have we not named a Pokemon after yet? No. Oh, I don't think you have done pumpkin. I don't think I've done pumpkin. We're naming you pumpkin. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I just can't spell, apparently. I like the idea. I baked you a pie. Oh boy, what flavor? Pie flavor. Yeah, that's why I, I was telling you, I, I want you to name a Pokemon pie flavor. Are you slow? Would you like to send someone to the PC? No. Pumpkin was transferred to Fox's PC. Hey, thanks, Fox, for taking all of my pie flavors. <laughs> I caught this Pokemon in the park, but I think it suits you better. Oh, thank you. I'll take good care of it. I never actually trained a Delmice before. Glad you like it. I watched Hearst walk to the cable car station and go down the mountain. Can we stand out here longer now? Oh, no, we still can't. All right, is that it? Pumpkin. Wait, did I spell it wrong? I think no, I did. No, you spelled it right. You're good, you're good. You spelled it right. It's just when you forgot the second P at first, you just have punk. <laughs> Pumpkin pie. Dabria also has a little uh, event if you go back to the pond, but she's not as interesting. She's just a reference to a lot. Oh, well, if it's an Ash and Frost. <laughs> More standing time on the roof, literally. <laughs> I don't know, I... Any any reference to Ash and Frost we have to find. You have to get all of the Easter eggs. All right, let's go to Cypress Pond. So Donde Esta? What am I doing? Let's turn on a repel. Turn on a repel, yes, because that's how it works. Oh, you should talk to Mar Marty one last time. Get your fill. Ah, that's probably a good idea. Ah, here you are. Giselle, I heard some rumors about Professor Yu. I'd rather not talk about it. Right. Understandable. Um, I wanted to give you this Pokemon as a small thanks for the tour earlier. There's, it's, I guess it's food related. There it is. Uh, she on. There's only one oh, name. That, I know it's not pie themed. Yeah. I know it's not pie themed, but there's only one name. It's probably a truffle pie. There's truffle only pie. one name for Swinub. There's only yeah, one name. Tr truffle pie is a thing. So oh, you're truffle good. pie is a thing. <laughs> nice. Yeah, truffle pie is a thing. Though, we're not adding truffles to our team because we have to have it in our team. I have a cousin- Wait. I have a cousin who raises way too many swine up? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. What's up? About your research. I'm studying physics. <laughs> you wouldn't believe what a headache it is to apply the theories you learned to Pokemon battling. Dabriel Lafayette? Huh? Okay. About you. The region I came from is freezing cold all the time. The landscape here is actually quite similar, it's just warmer. Going abroad makes for a nice change, even if I do miss my family now and again. I see. I see. Nice. I hate that. <laughs> the name Dabry also has to do with death. That would make sense. 
All right, let's head back. Let's talk to our good friend Marty, and then we'll we'll be good. I also like to believe it has to do with cringy, outdated dance moves as well. She, obviously, she's from Sinnoh. Where else would she be from? Riverview? Literally. All right. She's basically the... In, that's basically the entire name convention of the game. All right. Marty! If I'm ever consistent about one thing, it'll be this, Giselle. How many ways can I say death without saying death? <laughs> basically. What? That you're lazy? No. That I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad you're alive too, Marty. Yo, death. What's poppin'? Marty, god of death. Alright. E-cat. Is there anything else that we should do in this game? I mean, Mining Maniac too. No. <laughs> I mean, those chairs are gonna kill someone someday, inevitably. Yikes. Nope. Well then, that is Pokemon Nightshade. Wow. Last thing you need to do is input your credit card, the number, the CVV number, and your full legal name into the PC. And the social security number as well. Hey everybody, before I finish off this series, I want to give a huge shout out to ECAT and everyone on the Nightshade team. It is amazing what they pulled off in 40 days. And the whole team uh, is ECAT, of course, uh, Michael and Fox Owl and Purple Zafra were there for testing. So I want to give shout outs to all of them because this game is fantastic and I can't wait to play more games from them in the future. But with that, thank you so much for watching Pokemon Nightshade. I hope you stick around to watch some other Game Jam games. See ya.